Uh, hello and welcome to my talk on uh, making smarter automations. Uh, I'm Thomas Löfven. I live in Sweden and I'm uh, one of nearly 10,000 contributors to Home Assistant. Uh, you may know me as a maker of Lovelace plugins, uh, such as GapCard or the GUI Sandbox or the QCard. You can find them all on, on GitHub, or you could look for the little blue diamond on Hacks. Uh, I'm going to show you how I automated the outdoor lights at my home, and then how I made, made everything better by thinking a bit about the goal of the automations in a different way. So I'll yeah, jump straight into a live demo. Uh, this is my my house. Well, it's my my kid's house. I borrowed it from them, and they really want it back because I had it for a month now. Uh, anyway, it's chock full of IoT technology, such as uh, controllable lights and uh, a door sensor and a little sunlight sensor in in the window that I have a cloth to cover to pretend the sun has set. Yeah. So obviously, I want, want to automate all of this. Uh, first of all, I want the lights to turn on automatically when the sun goes down. So I made two automations. The first one checks for the, the sunlight to stop or the stop detecting sunlight and then turns on the left light. You'll see why I only turn on the left light a bit later. So let's activate that one. And a second automation, when you stop detecting light, turn off the left light. Let's automate that one, activate that one too, and try it. So if I pretend the sun goes down, the light turns on. And if the sun goes up, Do you hear me now? Good. Let's get this one done. I hope you still hear me. Uh, so what could you hear? I, I want the lights to turn off at night and on again in the morning. So I made an automation to uh, turn them off at 22 and turn them back on at 4. And if I activate those two, we can try this out. So the sun goes down, and now we just wait until 22 to see if the light turns off, or we cheat. I hacked in a little clock here, so I can set the time manually. And when it passes 2200 hours, the light turns off. And at 4 AM, it turns back on. That's great. But sometimes I'm, I'm still up after, after 22. And maybe I open the door and go outside. Then I want the light to be on. So I added two more automations for that. Uh, if the door is open and it's dark outside, I want the light to turn on. Simple enough. And it, if the door is closed, I want the light, the light to turn off. But the question is when? Uh, and this actually warrants a bit of a, a sidetrack, even if I lost a bit of time. Home Assistant sees time as a single line, going from midnight to midnight. So no time can ever be before 4 AM and after 22, uh, 10 PM at the same time, which is what you would get if you just input your, your times in a time condition. There are two ways to solve this. One is to use an OR condition, uh, where you say it's either before 4 AM or after 22 PM. Or you can just switch it around and say it's not between 4 and, and uh, 10 PM. And that's what I choose to go for in this case. 
So here I have a not condition. If the time is not between 4 and 22, turn off the light when the door closes. So let's activate those two as well and try it out. It's afternoon, the sun goes down, light turns on. 10 p.m., light turns off. At 11, I open the door and I get light when I do whatever I do outside. When I close it again, the door closes. And at 4, you know, the light comes on, but when the sun rises, it goes off. That's exactly what I want. So thank you for coming to my talk, and I'll be in the Q&A session. But wait. I said I live in Sweden, and sometimes times we get very long days. Sometimes the sun doesn't set until after 10. What will happen now? 10 rolls around, and say at 11, the sun sets. And then my light will, will turn on. And even worse, the sun rises again at 3 a.m. And the light turns off. But then when four rolls around, the light turns on and stays on all day. That's no good. Uh, there are some ways to fix this. Uh, you could use a lot of conditions in every automation, but that gets messy very quickly. So I choose to look at it a different way. Uh, so far, we have made the automations based on an event that triggers an action. And the, the event itself determines what should happen to light. Another way is to look at the current state of some input entities or the entire house, and then decide the correct state of the light from that. So I like to make a table. I have the sun, if it's up or down, I have the time, if it's in the middle of the night or if it's day, and then I have the door, if it's open or if it's closed. From that, I can determine how I want my light to be. So first of all, there's the sun position. If the sun is up, the light should always be off. But if the sun is down, it should be on. This corresponds to our first automation. Yeah. Then we add the time input. Still, if the sun is up, we want the light to be off, whether it's day or night. But if the sun is down, we want uh, the light to be on if it's day, as in not midnight, and off if, if it's midnight. Then there's the door, which we can add as well. Still, if the sun is up, the lights are off. If the sun is down, the lights are on if it's day, but if it's night, the, sun, the light is only on if the door is open and closed otherwise. If I go to my house anytime and just look at the state, if, is the sun up, is it day or night, is the door open, where, what would I expect the light to be in that case? Uh, so we can simplify this a bit. We can notice on groupings and clear this up to see that if we think about it, there's actually only four different cases. And we only make to, need to make three checks to see which case we're in. Now, obviously, this is a very simple example, and I put it, made it from the beginning to, to make this conclusion obvious. But, but let's make an automation from this. So Frank mentioned earlier that the engine has updated a lot and you can do more in one automation. And you also mentioned the choose, the chooser. So that's what I have used here. The first case we had was that the sun is up. So if the sunlight is, if the sunlight is detected, we should turn the lights off. The rest that happens here is only what happens if the sun is not up. From here on. So the next is if it's day or night time. And we know if it's daytime, we want the, the light to be on. Oh, again, only when the sun is below the horizon and it's actually dark. So if we're between 4 and 22, turn on the, the light. And the next option happens only, again, if the sun is down, if we're not in, in the daytime. And then we look at, is the door open? 
If it is, we want the light to be on. And in any other case, we want the light to turn off. Now the triggers are a bit special too. Since this automation can run anytime and will always do the right thing no matter what made it run, we can yeah, make a trigger on any state change for the sunlight sensor, for example. So I just made a state trigger for the sunlight sensor and I put no state in. Then it will trigger everything, anything happens to the sunlight sensor. The same with the door sensor. And then we may also want to reevaluate the current state of light at 4 a.m. and at 10 p.m. And a couple of bonuses. This is one I like. Uh, it does happen from time to time that Home Assistant goes down. But if you have this and run your automations as soon as Home Assistant starts, you will always jump right into the, the correct state as soon as possible. And the same about this. Uh, I have some flaky Wi-Fi lights. And if I add this trigger, when they leave the unavailable state, they will always jump into the right state as soon as they can. So let's activate this and look at the right line, how that behaves. So if the sun goes down, the light turns on. At 10, it turns off. But if I open the door, it turns on. And if I close it, it turns off. At 4, it turns back on. And when the sun goes up, it turns off. And for our special cases, we can see for example, if I open the door at 8 and keep it open past 22, so that only works if, if the sun is down and I open the door in the afternoon, keep it open past 22, the light should keep, stay on because I have the door open, of course. But when I close it, it stops. If the sun rises before 4 a.m., nothing happens to light. And at 4 a.m., still nothing happens to light and it isn't shining all day. Uh, so that's it, really. This, obviously, this isn't perfect for all automations. Uh, it works for lights, because lights don't really mind if you turn them on when they're already on, or if you turn them off when they're already off. This wouldn't work for something where you have a transition, like you dim up the light over a couple of hours or something. Uh, Another thing, you may want the, the lights to turn off, uh, sorry, stay on until five, five minutes after you close the door, for example. Uh, that's still possible with this, this method, but it uh, requires a, a little bit more work. Uh, as always, this depends on your unique situation, but maybe you got a different way of thinking about automations out of all of this. Yeah. I'll be in the Q&A session afterwards and uh, thank you for joining me.